Hello my lovelies, happy Monday and welcome to another crafting week. So I've got some of my um, paper pockets, I don't just mean paper, we do work with paper don't we? <laughs> oh dear I've got out of the swing. Um, the po these pockets that I make from uh, A4 copy paper that's been uh, tea dyed and um, we've done these before but uh, for those that are new when they haven't done it and there's other people it's nothing new I didn't invent it so I've got a piece of copy of paper it's got some lovely markings on hasn't it fold it in half long ways and then bring your points in both points in to the left and then you Put it, fold it up there and then you put it on your page so if this is your page you can uh, pin it. What I often do is because I want the writing space and some secret journaling you can paper clip that to the edge of a page and then you've got let's get some something to put in but some, let me trace it in out um, so you know you can put that in there there's a little tag I made there from uh, something off of some clothing and then you can put something in there and you can take them out and then you can fully open it and that's a good way of of creating some journaling space some secret journaling space because when you want to journal you just undo it and you write on it and then you fold it back up and back in your journal but I was having a play and a fiddle and out I thought how can I take that a little step further so what I've done here with uh, some avocado paper is I've done exactly the same and then what I did was I wrapped some um, some fancy paper around it scraps and uh, put an eyelet in and I like that effect you can put a little bull pin in there with some dangles if you want but in some respects I feel that if you got that that obviously you can't open it again you get the pockets fixed which is great if you want that but I felt like it was a waste of this writing space so I thought how can we make some some of these using book pages uh, because you wouldn't necessarily open them up to write on them so we then so we ended up with a step further so I've made some minis now look at the gorgeous coloration of this this is from a children's book Tales After Supper by Enid Blyton and it was one of mine as a little girl it was new but look you see shows you how frayed around the edges I'm looking these days <laughs> oh, look at that so I thought we'd make some little uh, mini book page pockets with little eyelets in. So we fold that into the middle and that into the middle and we can take that. Oh, it's up to you where you have it. So we'll take that up to there and there you've got your pocket now you can decorate on the top of that or you might decide that you don't want that you could always turn that over to the other side so that you've got more of the print on let me fold refold that because it's hanging over the edge a little okay so because they're not going to be opened and what I did, if you go on, uh, in, put a search, in your search bar, public domain um, papers, you can get all sorts of fancy papers like this. Marbling, you can always put public domain. They have to be in the public domain so you're not breaching copyright. And it's a good way to use your little scraps up as well. So on here, I mean, you could do it anywhere you could have it in this corner here wrap it round you don't have to glue it because it's going to be held with your uh, eyelet 
give that a little little punch of ruby and I've got some Ilex here, I've got a green one, that looks nice and just set it with that so you could do it there but then it's a bit, you might still want to glue that down because it's a little bit flappy isn't it if you do it like that so let's get another one out got one here so I've done them and the other thing is that if you if you fold them from right to left you know you're going to get um, a one side of your pocket you'll get your pockets that way on if you do left to right I didn't know it left to right what am I doing yes that way so if you bring the points in from left to right or right to left then obviously you get the different um, orientation of your pocket so you can put them on different pages of your journal um, so what I'm going to do with this and I, I do quite like that I know that's upside down but that doesn't matter now you might think oh well I don't want a big pocket they're only minis so what I've done here look is you've got your two pages there I've got some of these little mini tags uh, these are on traces In traces Etsy but I've had these a long while so if you're doing some little mini journals or little mini pockets they're ideal size um, so with this one let's wrap see I don't like that it's too flappy for me so we won't do one that way around we will put some let's have a look Get some of these so these are just scraps I've got left over from some paper I just printed off from the, the public domain right okay so I am actually going to put this about there and hopefully that will secure it better There we are, we'll put another green one in there. If you haven't got eyelets, you don't necessarily have to. You could put a bulb pin with some beads or something through anyway. Or a punch reinforced hole. That's better, I like that better. Um, I don't like that, that's too that's too flappy about so I will glue down there with my art glitter glue um, because it's it's going to get on my nerves so there we have it we we'll put that round there and then you know I've just got an assortment here this is my tracy tin now it's not just tracy labels it's a tracy tin <laughs> and uh, these little pockets are great for using up some of your little tickets. Now some of these I've got left over from Compendium. And uh, they just go nicely in there. Look. You can put some little tickets like that. And then you would put it on your book page. So this, so this is our, our book page here. That's on our book page so you would glue it down and then you can put even more in the top in the top pocket and there you've got a lovely little assortment of things on your page in your double pocket and I just thought they were a good way of using up you know some of your many book pages that we all end up with um, and I thought these were very dinky you know you can put little bits in so we'll put a little butterfly in there and a fern leaf 
there. They're cute, aren't they? I like that. Right, okay, let's uh, let's make a couple more. So I'm going to see what we can wrap round there. That's pretty, isn't it? Just gives it a little bit of uh, a bit of decoration on. Now, do I want a bit of a gap there? Obviously, you've got to bear in mind that um, you're going to lose some of the depth of your pocket, your pocket space. But that doesn't matter. I think it, they just make a nice change don't they okay so wrap that round punch our hole there we go and this time we'll put a large that'd be nice there we go we'll put that large um Eyelet in there, give it a good old squeeze, and there we have. Now, with this, obviously, you can decorate it if you don't want it left plain. Um, the other thing is, if you wanted, you could you know stack them so you could put that in there, put some tickets in there, and some more here. Put some more in there. And you can have a whole load of them. So I think that there are plenty of um, options. So we'll just make a few more. Um, and they're easy. You can make them beforehand. That's why I've decided to do it for Easy Makes Monday. You can mass make. You can do all your folding at once. Now. This one here, let's have a look, what haven't we used yet? That's, uh, that's a nice. Right, I like that. So you don't need much of your scrap paper either. You only need small pieces. You've only got some very small pieces left ideal right i'm going to have i think no a yellow gold one is that yellow gold seeing as it's got that yellow stripe on can't do you know my fingers work fingers can't <laughs> i can't pick little things up now anymore i'm getting worse there we go Aren't they lovely? I really like them. I think they are cute. Right, let's have a look. There's one there. These are ones that I did earlier. Have I done them all now? I must have. I'm not used to making quick, easy, easy ones, am I? Right, that is getting on my nerves. So I'm going to... I'm going to, we've got some more of this. I'm going to put another one on there. There we go. So this one's going to have two, just because I can't be bothered to work. Uh, Go and find me glue. Right, let's do a lighter, a lighter green in the top one. See how nice that looks. See, I wouldn't have thought of doing two. I would have thought it was a bit of a waste. But if you've got plenty of eyelets, that stop that. I love it. Now the other thing that I sometimes do. 
at least see obviously that goes in there you could put a smaller one in there and sometimes I will then put um, something coming out of the side of them that's a little big so we could um, say for example use those put a couple of little labels in there like that so you've got a pocket there you will have a pocket in the top and also you've got a little side pocket there so hope you've uh, that's given you some food for thought just to no I don't like that I thought I might put a butterfly or something on it or some little flower or something. You can decorate it up how you want really. Um, I thought I'd just uh, jump on. I thought we'd do something easy for Easy Makes Monday. And it's surprising how, how quick you can make them. And you, you know, you can, the, these weren't particularly large book pages. But can you imagine how lovely they'll look if you've got some really large sheets of book page you know uh, equivalent to your a4 or your us paper size um you can make this is one that i had to go earlier when i was playing about with it so this one um used some of the um printed off italian from one of uh, rachel's kits and then just decorated it up, just fussy toe round out of one of my plant books and uh, the, the different way of using it. So, thank you for joining me. Hope it's given you some ideas. Let me know if you fancy having a go at these. It's a little reminder as well, Nola, because we love one of these folded pockets, don't we? And I'll see you next video. Bye for now.